So this video is going to be about installing this uh, trailer wiring kit on my Honda Odyssey. Here's the there's the kit number. It's a Kurt. There you go, 50, uh, 56, 365. And it's vehicle specific for a Honda Ridgeline or a Honda Pilot for those years. I have a 2019. So let's uh, open this up and take a look. Let's look. What we got is this, this component here. Um, this hooks up into your existing wiring and the place for a fuse. And this is a ground connection. And this is the part that hooks up into your wiring system in the back. Um, and uh, rubber cover for your for your um, flat basic uh, connector. And some fuses and other stuff. Not all these are you are going to end. Yeah. Uh, going to be used because some of these will be used for the Honda Pilot and some of them are used for the Honda Ridgeline. Uh, the, I'm making this video because I couldn't didn't see any on the Honda Ridgeline. There's a few of them out there on the Honda Pilot and they're a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to try to do one on the Honda Ridgeline. comes with uh, directions here. This side is the Honda Pilot and this side is the Honda Ridgeline. Uh, where, where the wiring hookup is different for each vehicle. So I'm going to be following the Honda Ridgeline because that's what I have. And we're going to be uh, essentially this goes in it. Um, in, it goes in uh, behind the back seat by, from what I remember from reading this. It's basically telling you to Open up the back seat on the passenger side um, and the driver's side, uh, fold it up, and then you pull out some of the interior molding, and it the where you're going to hook it up is right underneath it, and then you're going to basically stick this to the wall uh, to the place, and then ground it, and then you put the fuse in. As far as what it says, what tools you need is. Let me see. Flat blade screwdriver and a, and some a side cutter. You have to be doing these outside in the heat because uh, there's no room in my garage. So let me uh, open the truck up and put the window. Okay, I'm back here in the back seat on the driver's side. Um, what this is saying to do is you do this and then you pull. You pull this trim out here that's underneath the seat and then the where you're going to put this is there's a place under here way in the back that you need to basically uh, plug it into so i'm gonna try to let me see if i can yeah so That. Now in here, let me get a flashlight. In there, You, you will see some wire connectors way in the back there. Essentially, it goes in under, un, under here somewhere is what I gather. I got it out. It's way back there. You have to reach up there and just get it by feel. And then you'll be able to get it out. And that, that's what you plug the adapter into. It is to the left of where those ground screws are. And the one that's, there's one up there that's green. 
right there that one right there is green it's to the left of that so it's going to be way up there behind some carpet and stuff so just take it and pull it down so that you can then plug your adapter into there it is connected It'll, you'll get a positive click feedback now we need to mount this um this module they get probably use some double stick tape to somewhere back that's smaller so and then we have to ground it that this is the hard part the rest of it's supposed to be easier here take this provided 10 amp fuse you put it into here and um uh, and put it back and, and put tuck it back there see i've grounded it to the existing ground there that is a 10 millimeter bolt uh i did that instead of uh, drilling a hole uh, so this will be hopefully this will be good uh, stick the double stick tape on the back of that and stick it to the body the frame and then put all this stuff back and then we'll i'll meet you on the tailgate uh to do the tailgate part that's a lot easier and then we got some uh, some fuses to put in elsewhere. Okay, I have, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's up there. I uh, use the double stick tape and it's, uh, the module is um, stuck to the body. Now with the double stick tape, hopefully it'll stay. Now we're on step seven here which is behind the bumper on the driver's side. There's going to be a connector that looks like that. Um, we're going to take that out and then the uh, the actual harness part uh, plugs That's into that. Behind the bumper, the connector is going to be under here. I'll show you it in a second. Okay. This plug, you're going, to, you're going to plug it into this. Um, you take this top off and then this will, this part will plug, this, this part will plug into here into here but you got to take that out you may have to take this off the body and to do it so okay you see this best thing to do to get this get this out is there's this side snap thing here you use a flathead screwdriver push that and it'll come down then you can pull this off to then put your wire harness into here so, um, goes in like this, positive click, and then you probably want to snap this back up, back up in there. Uh, sorry, I knocked the camera. Snap this, put this back up into this hook, this here. According to the directions under the hood, some of the last steps is you put in... Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I was just reading something there. Uh, you've got two fuses. They're provided. You've got a 7.5 and a 10. And they get inserted into uh, position 6 uh, and position 3. Position 6 is a 7.5. Is right here. So... So, let's see. Oh, here's your diagram for it. So, I, added, I put the 7.5 here and the 10 here. I hope that's right. Okay, this is to show what fuses are in what place. All the fuses are put in place uh, through here. We're going to go to the back of the vehicle and test things with a multimeter lights are on on the vehicle we're going to put the this is your blacks this is the, uh, the ground here These, are the, these should be the trailer lights, nothing. This should be one of the turn signals. 
this is one of the other ones. Let me turn the hazards on. Okay, hazard lights are on, so this should pulsate up to like 12 volts. It does. Same thing with this one. These are the turn signals. So the, the trailer lights are not, this one are not um, uh, doing anything. I just showed um, with this kit, the uh, running lights don't seem to work. Well, what I eventually tracked it down to, I saw a forum post on it was on a 2017 Ridgeline, which is the same generation as this one, which is a 2019, is that some of them, the power uh, wire that goes to the trailer lights, um, those are the ones that turn on when you just turn your lights on. Um, the wire harness, that's a, the Honda wire harness, it actually has a wire flipped. And um, either you go flip it back or you can maybe uh, run a wire from uh, to get the, um, to, to basically daisy chain it off of like uh, your, your uh, lights for the um, license plate. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, I can't, that's the resolution. I can't make it, make the trail lights work, but the brake and, t uh, brake and turn signal lights work. Um, so that concludes this installation with this one little uh, caveat at the end.